Welcome to USA Global TV and Radio, where our mission is to provide education, entertainment, hope, and inspiration. USA Global TV and Radio connects you with experts and audiences all around the world every single day to help you succeed in business and to live a richer life. Visit us at usaglobaltv.com to learn about career and life-changing training and mentoring programs like The Listening Mentor. Subscribe to our newsletter to stay informed about our special programs and offers. Discover how you can become a guest on one of our shows or a host or producer of a USA Global TV and radio show of your very own. That's USA Global TV and radio, where the doctor is always in. Howdy, y'all. Red Laughlin here on USA Global TV and radio network. And... Happy Thanksgiving, happy Turkey Day to those people in the United States. Uh, we're a worldwide audience, and it could be good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be, or you could be visiting us on YouTube on the archives. Uh, just go to US Global TV, and you'll be able to find just about every show ever done. And we, I think, are up to about 40 some shows a week now. And today, very, very special day, Thanksgiving Day, and I have Dr. Stan Harris, Dr. Breakthrough. Will be joining me today. We have uh, some little information that I think is going to be of immense value to a lot of people, and we're going to have a chance to share that in a lot of detail. But uh, Dr. Stan, please, uh, please join me here on stage. Well, hey, hey, hey! I got a question for you. I've never ever asked, and I'm sure you have an answer. Where did the name Doctor Breakthrough come from? You know, man, Red, that's a great question. First of all, I want to say I am so delighted to be on your show, to be with you and the good doctor. And on this incredible day, thank you for your audience, for showing up, and we're here for you. So how did I get the name Dr. Breakthrough? So many people ask me that. Well, I was speaking many years ago, 25 years maybe, um, Willie Jolly, who's now Dr. Willie Jolly, we were uh, sharing the platform at Howard University. And uh, afterwards, he said to me, he said, Dr. Stan, man, he said, branding the day is everything. He said, now I know you got to Doctor in Divinity, PhD in martial arts, and uh, some kind of working on a doctorate of naturopath or something. He said, but but branding is the thing. He said, man, you speak about breakthrough better than anybody I know. And he said, you when you break the boards and bricks with things written on them, you demonstrate it. He said, man, it seems like every time I talk to you, it's like you had another breakthrough. He said, so kind of like a person has a problem, they go to a doctor, and the doctor writes out a prescription. He said, you're the guy with a prescription when somebody needs a breakthrough. So you should be called Dr. Breakthrough. I was like, wow, man, I, I appreciate that. That's, those are kind words, and I'm not sure I uh, that's all the way true. But I promise you one thing, I'll live the rest of my life to make sure it is true. And it's stuck. And so now, my friend, everywhere we go, I've been blessed to be in all 50 states, 28 countries, and they call me Dr. Breakthrough. And I always give a disclaimer, Red, as Dr. Breakthrough, I can't provide the breakthrough. I just prescribe the breakthrough. But when people follow the breakthrough prescription, God provides it. And the breakthrough is simple. It's exploding through barriers that at one time seemed insurmountable, like that caterpillar moving slow on the ground or maybe climbing up a tree slow. But once it gets in that cocoon, the dark place, lonely place, seemingly impossible to get out of place and struggles for a while, then out comes a beautiful flowing butterfly. And my friend, that's what I call total transformation. And that's the breakthrough. So I know, I know years ago, you and I used to speak periodically uh, to groups of people around here, there and yonder. Yes, and yes. I've always felt an honor to be on stage there with you periodically. But anyway, I always thought because you were breaking boards and we would write on whatever that particular obstacle was for that person, that when I hold that board up and you break it, or in some cases you allow me to actually go ahead and, and break the board because it's my breakthrough. Uh, that that was kind of the the connotation. You're breaking boards. You're breaking through things. But I'm glad you provided uh, that that explanation because that clarity is important. You know, branding is such an important thing today. Uh, I, I speak a little bit more on branding because that's that's an area you know a lot about. Well, and again, it is. But you know, the, the and the, I found out the hard way because see, all these different companies, especially a home based business, you know, and all these different companies, they want you to help push their brand 
which is powerful. But then one day it dawned on me uh, when Dr. Wally said that I need to have a brand and I need to empower other people to make sure that they have their brand. And now, you know, it's so much to the point now when people think of breakthrough, the first thing they think about is, man, I gotta go to, got to get a hold of Dr. Stan Harris. That's Dr. Breakthrough. And it's so funny because a few folks, they don't even know my real name. They said, man, all I ever heard was them announcing we're going to have this Dr. Breakthrough. And they said, I didn't even know your real name, you know? And I said, well, as long as when you hear my name or my title being called, that conjures up in your mind that you can break through the barriers, you can break through the hard times. And then you need to make sure that you're branded so that when we hear a certain phrase or certain something, it, it conjures up really what you're about. And my life is all about empowering other people to break through. As a matter of fact, uh, I say, my wife and I, we aspire to inspire breakthroughs even after we've expired. But folks, you have got to learn to brand yourself and different companies that I work with. Like, like I, I even get the domain name that has breakthrough in it so that it's not the name of the company that I'm representing or working with or collaborating with, but it's the breakthrough brand that's being put forth and so that if something happens with that company and I need to work, do something else, the breakthrough is still what people are following. Does that make sense? Absolutely. In fact, for me, one of the biggest breakthroughs was a Saturday training session for an MLM. They brought in a couple of people. I'm sure you know both of them very well. And we spent eight hours training. And the part that was interesting is the fact that every company I've ever been in, including the Navy, they would always teach you how to do your job better so that the company benefited. Right. But we never taught the individual how to be better so the individual benefited. Mm. Now, in the MLM, when you benefit from, you know, from the training and whatever, you're actually adding money into your pocket because that's part of what you are doing. You're selling your brand. You're selling your product. Here. And it just never dawned on me that all of that, that helpful information is there. It's been there forever and ever but we never take advantage of it for ourselves. It's always advantage for somebody else. And that that's probably one of the biggest breakthroughs I've ever had in my life. So in fact, whoa, I can do this for me. <laughs> wow. And, and you know, and actually I think you and I, we had a conversation about, about a company that I now work for, work with, I should say. And again, one of the things that impressed me the most was like I just said, all, every other company I've worked for, it's, it was always them trying to get me to push their brand. And I'm like, no, I have my own brand. I will collaborate my brand with your brand. And But this company, their concept is so totally different. I was like, man, I've never seen a company with this kind of breakthrough concept. And their concept is simple. And that is wherever you want to go in life and whatever you want to accomplish, they said, we'll help you get there faster and easier. Because we're going to provide mentors who can inspire you, give you a model you can follow, teach you methods you can implement. And the speed of your implementation will determine the speed of your success. So when I was approached, they said, listen, we know you, you're Dr. Breakthrough. And what we have is something that can help further what you want to do in life because you have courses and you're a speaker and you want to get your message out to more people. Well, how about if we assist you and help you to do that? And I'm, thought, I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, <laughs> that's your pitch. Can you help me? <laughs> can you help me to get my brand out there even more? And so I was like, you know what? I need to tell the world about y'all folks. I said, because that's very unusual. But it kind of goes back to what Zig said, help enough people get what they want and you get everything you want. It's one of those cases where after 20 years, you're an overnight success. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, right? so you have to be diligent. You have to be persevering. Right. You have to be tenacious. Uh, but you have to be consistent. You have to be continually improving because when you stand still, the technology and everything around you changes. And if you're not adding whatever you need to your quiver in order to pull out that, that next arrow that may be artificial intelligence and maybe something else we don't even know about right now, but those are the things that make a difference. So as we're gradually improving ourselves through reading or YouTube or, or whatever it may happen to be, that's our primary method of, of learning, then we need to implement that. And it sounds like the, the thing that we talked about literally, what, a couple, three, four weeks ago, I don't even know. Uh, and I said, Stan, I'd love to have you here on the show because I think you have something really valuable to share to people. So let's take the beginning that we've had and say, hey, Dr. Stan, what's, what's new in the world of AI? 
Well, what's new is something called the Great uh, the Great Discovery, which is a company and a concept. Uh, many people have heard of Six Sigma, which literally is a way of teaching people not what to think, but how to think. And basically, it was for high level executives and um, and engineers and so forth to help them to problem solve. And it literally reconditions a person's mind so that they become a success creating mechanism. And they thought we need to do that for average, average, everyday people. And then they thought, well, wait a minute. But once we teach them how to be successful, they're going to need some other lessons and other people. So they said, hey, let's collaborate with other speakers and take their courses and make them available to our affiliates. And then what we'll do is we'll use and leverage AI technology to translate their courses and their speeches. Right now, I think they have 14 languages. They'll have up to 70 languages by March uh, when they have their official launch. But right now it's set up so that there's three main groups of people they're looking for. Those who are learners who just, and every all of us should be learners. As a matter of fact, it was Alvin Toffler who said something very powerful. He said, the literate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write. But rather those who will not learn, who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn, <laughs> right? Scott Hoffer put it a different way. He said, learners shall inherit the earth while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to live in the world that no longer exists. So, so all, all the schooling that I got, the, the 12 years of regular school, and then the 12 years of college and postgraduate work, right? I mean, that prepared me for a world that no longer exists. So now everything is, is AI. And so this company says, listen, we're going to help you to leverage AI technology to where people that don't speak Spanish will take your, like, for instance, they took my 21 day breakthrough challenge. And I was about to pay, it was going to cost me $2,000 to have my 21 day breakthrough challenge translated into Spanish. Now, red, it was going to be somebody else's face and somebody else's voice in my content. Now, because of this company with the great discovery, now they have my 21 day breakthrough challenge in their back office. They, through AI, translate it into Spanish and it's perfect lip sync. Now, I'm not, Fred, you, you, you remember those kung fu movies, you know? Where you know <laughs> well, I, I saw the little uh, thing you sent me and okay. you spoke, I'm going to say maybe eight different languages Korean and, and Spanish and French and German, but your lip sync was perfect. And the tonality was there, and it was as if you were speaking Portuguese right in front of me, and I had no idea that you, it was not you speaking it. And that was the part that really captured my attention, because artificial intelligence is at that level right now that the lip sync, the, the tonality, everything is there. Right. And so I want to learn something, and this guy over in Germany or Portugal or Japan has the course that I want, but it's in their language. Now I just dial up English and I listen to them speaking to me in English that they may or may not even understand. But that now is available to us if I want to put on a program to train that I can speak my program in English, videotape it, and if it needs to be translated into Japanese, push that button and boom, I'm speaking Japanese as if I were a Japanese, you know, fluent person. So, well, you know, Ray, I, I noticed, is it possible that I could share my screen? I'm wondering, would it let me play a video or not? Would it, what, what do you think? I don't know. Let's ask our production engineer. Uh, All right. That, oh, that's that's right. possible. Yeah, if it's possible, we can, we can, we can give we it a shot. We should ask that question in the preliminary. Uh, and, yes, you know, and, okay, the question has been answered. The answer is yes. Okay. okay. So all I have to do is click on share screen. Let's see what happens. Um, we have and, technology to make this happen if we don't do it right now. So okay. pretend like you know what you're doing. Okay. So let me see here. Okay. So bring up the content. And, and, uh, and the production okay. engineer will bring it up onto the screen for you. All righty. And this is select tab to share. Okay. So, I'm sure you probably have a couple examples that will help us out here. We can just get to them on the with the technology end of things. Oh man, you know it, you know it. So yeah, we're definitely going to demonstrate that for you. My name is Dr. Yvanka Therabi. I'm a speaker, 
a coach, an international best-selling author, and I'm a television host. I'm always looking for more effective ways to expand my reach internationally. I'm so grateful to have partnered with The Great Discovery. It's a transformative way of thinking, not only to aid in your great success, which it will, but also to help expand your reach. It offers a platform so that you can get your life-changing messages out to the masses internationally. And they're going to help you do it. Come on aboard. Bonjour. Mon nom est Dr. Yvon Caferabi. Je suis un conférencier. Hola, mi nombre es Dr. Iván Caferraví. Soy orador, entrenador, autor de éxito internacional. Ni hao, wo de mingzi shi bo shi, Iván Caferraví. Wo shi yi ge yan jiang ju xiao lian, wo ji chang xiao shu zuo zhe. Konnichiwa, watashi wa Dr. Iván Caferraví des. Speaker, coach, bestseller, saka, televi shikai sha des. Ciao, mi chiamo Dr. Iván Caferraví. Sono un relatore, un coach, un autore di successo e un conduttore TV internazionale. Hallo, mein Name ist Dr. Ivanka Ferrabi. Ich bin Sprecherin, Coach, internationale Bestseller, Autorin und... Wow! <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen anything like that before in your life? No. I, 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 well, I did because I did one. I'm, I'm going to have him pull that up in a minute. No, but I mean, six months ago, a year ago. Oh no, no! I never saw it until, like I said, about a month ago. As you say, the, 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 we'd be seeing and hearing different things. The mouth would not; there would be no congruency uh, yes. between the spoken word right. and what so that. That's the part that AI does so well is it just coordinates and connects and makes everything. Let's see your your particular pitch because I, if that's the one that I'm thinking of that you showed me, I was I was super impressed with you speaking all those languages. Oh man, awesome. Dr. Stan Harris, known as Dr. Breakthrough. There's something very powerful. It's called the great discovery. And the great discovery is something literally, my friend, that wherever you want to go in life and whatever you want to accomplish through the great discovery, you can get there faster and easier. Hola, soy el Dr. Stan Harris, conocido como Dr. Evans. Hay algo muy poderoso. Se llama el gran descubrimiento. Konnichiwa, Dr. Stan Harris wa hijou ni kyouryoku na mono o motsu doctor desu. Sore wa midai na hakken to yobare teimasu. Salut, c'est Dr. Stan Harris, Dr. Avancé, très puissant. Cela s'appelle la grande découverte. Annyeonghaseyo, chonun paksamida, Stan Harris paksa, kangnyokan goshi istoyo, widean palgyon irago bulimyo. Isn't that absolutely amazing? Now imagine, my friend, imagine your message being translated by March up to 70 different languages. And imagine also, my friend, you getting the chance to speak to the affiliates to stir them up to buy your course. And then imagine having landing pages with your course that they could promote to everybody. So listen, it's amazing. It's so amazing. I sent Les Brown the one minute clip. And he called me right away within five minutes and said, Doc, get me started right away. So we've been talking to Willie Jolly and, uh, again, Tom Ziegler and others, Robert Tracy, who want to leverage this technology. Why not you? Why not now? Imagine your course being part of a company's product offering. This is absolutely amazing, my friend. And it's your chance to be able to potentially reach up to 8.1 billion people. What are you waiting for? Get back to where provided you and get the link, get more information, get started now. What are we waiting for, Red? <laughs> well, you know, when you approached me, you know, my question was, okay, yeah, fine. I'd like to expand my 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 training, my content. You know, I, I generate a lot of content, probably more than most people. I really have a lot out there. But how do I get an audience in Italy or Japan or wherever else in the world? And so I'm, I'm, my, my brain is, is kind of going around. I was like, okay, yeah, I know, but I don't know. And I'm not sure. And, but then I saw kind of a little demo and said, whoa, yeah, regardless of what it is, I, I need to be part of this because I may not be able to do it right this minute because of other constraints, but I want to be able to do this because it means much more to me, not necessarily right this minute, 
but certainly as far as my my planning i've already started changing around my 2024 plans because this is one of those opportunities i have this opportunity another one that i invested in very late this year that i need to rethink the way i'm doing things because what i was doing before it's not that it's bad it's not that it's not going to work it's just that i think this to use a vernacular term you might understand this is a real breakthrough yeah <laughs> Well, Red, one of the things also I like to say is everybody can't be a CEO and everybody won't be a CFO, Chief Financial Officer, or COO, Chief Operating Officer. But remember, we talked about branding, and now I'm saying through this new concept, everybody can be what I call a CLO. Now, CLO stands for Chief Leveraging Officer. See, Archimedes said years ago, if I had to lever long enough and a prop strong enough, he said I could single-handedly move the world. So now through the power of leverage, and I used to travel and speak, uh, share the platform with Jim Rohn many years ago. Of course, he's passed on now, but but he's the one that would say oftentimes you can make up and leverage what you lack in skill or lack in education or lack of, but you can always make up for the leverage. And so now this is allowing the quote unquote average everyday person to leverage the most powerful technology, AI, and get them. First of all, if you've got a message that you want to get out to the world, I, here's what I ask speakers and coaches and content providers. Would you like to go fishing in a bathtub full of fish? <laughs> They're like, what do you mean? I'm like, what if I could, what if I told you there's a group of affiliates that are incentivized to purchase your course and sell your course? See, my wife always says, it's my ABCD adorable brown caramel delight. We say, if it's not win, 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 we're not in. But whenever it's win, 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 we're all the way in. And so this is a truly win, 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 because the power red of connection, when when you're German and, and you see me and you think, now this guy doesn't know German, you see my training, but I'm speaking, it's not written, it's not something that's transcribed. No, no, you hear me speaking and my lip, there's an extra powerful connection when you're Chinese and, and you see this brother speaking Chinese, you're like, wait a minute, you know, or if you're Korean or whatever. So I'm saying the power of connection and besides that, I think the numbers are you can only reach up to 18% of the population if you're English speaking. I mean, the person at the top of the game, like Les Brown, that's one reason why, again, Les, literally when he saw that video, he called me within five minutes and said, Doc, I don't care what it costs, get me that technology. I got to leverage that now, right? And so here's the thing. The thing is, because as great as Les Brown is, he can really only effectively reach up to 18% of the world if he, at his full potential. But now having all these other languages, and especially by March of 2024, they'll have 70 languages, he'll be able to reach potentially up to 8 billion people. So now that means the speaker that's not as you know prominent as less gets the unfair advantage <laughs> because you can now have your trainings, your course in these different languages. It's one thing, though, Red, to have your course or your speech in different languages that go to different countries, but it's a whole nother dynamic when, again, you have affiliates who are incentivized to purchase and to sell your course. For instance, they call, this company called me uh, two weeks ago. Now, again, my 21-day breakthrough challenge is now in their back office. And it's available for the affiliates to buy. But they said, hey, would you like to take 15 minutes and teach our affiliates what are the benefits of having your course? Uh, they asked me what I like to do that. Red, what do you think my answer was? The media, yes. <laughs> not, not only yes, but hell yes. <laughs> heaven, yes. <laughs> I said heaven, yes. And so so here's the next thing they, I found out, Red. They're going to make for every content provider, every course, they're going to make a landing page so that their different affiliates can market. So here's, here's the thing that you have to understand. If you're a content provider, if you're a speaker, if you're a coach, if you've got a message that you like to get out to the world, my friend, the barriers are now being eliminated. So here's what Les Brown, what, what he called me, he said, Dr. Breakthrough, he said, I'm cancer-free. 
um, drama free and um, debt free. I said, well, now, Les, because of the great discovery, you can now be language barrier free. He said, oh, oh, I like that one. I like that one. I like that one. Well, and so take, take this one step further. If I'm able to do, let's say I have my book right here, whatever it is, and I'm reading it, basically, I, I can put it up there and, and read it. Yes. I can create audio books in a dozen languages instantly that are, are perfectly recorded, assuming I have the, the, the audio background and everything. Right. And if I do that, then I ought to be able to take that same technology, run it through a voice to t manu to you know voice to text editor, and be able to produce a a viable book in another language. In theory, I don't know how that will work. I know the, the audio part should work seamlessly. Yeah. Uh, being able to produce the right content for uh, for text. I'm not sure, but that's something that, that can be experimented with. But there's just, I mean, even just staying within the box, there's so many things. But if you start thinking around the box, there's a lot of things there. And right now we're just in the in the very beginning part of that upward exponential curve that AI is going. And right now we have what Microsoft and Google and a couple of other companies trying to really get in. And you know, they're looking at B with billions, you know, first year turnaround. Right. Uh, for, for this kind of stuff. So we're at the very beginning. Why not take advantage of it now? And whatever experience you have can be added down the road and probably even cheaper because there's going to be more things that we don't even think about that we can do. It's evolving and, and expanding daily. As a matter of fact, they mentioned that uh, we will soon have a streaming ability to stream. So if you could have the ability to stream and then it'd be, that's going to be crazy. But then they mentioned they actually have AI, like personal uh, virtual assistant. So it's a, it'd be a clone of me. Imagine you come to my website, it's a clone of me. So everyone who joins the great discovery obviously gets their own like affiliate link or different link because, you know, and so, so somebody would go to your site, it would have an avatar of you. And it would answer all the people's questions, your voice, <laughs> but it's the AI. Or if they come to my site, the same exact thing. I'm saying, see, this is what we call done for you type services. So that's that's a whole nother thing. So uh, again, my friend, whether you just want to be a learner, I, I, I love, love, love the whole thing of growing. It was, was it Benjamin Franklin that said, if you empty your wallet into your mind, he said, your mind will fill your wallet. It was Jim Rohn. Again, I've heard him on the platform while, you know, uh, sometimes I would speak first and he would speak a few times. He spoke first and I would speak, but he'd say this statement, a formal education will help you make a living, but personal development will help you make a fortune. So Dr. Breakthrough says, why just make a living when you can make a fortune so you could be blessed so much to bless others. So some people would just want to be learners and learn how to have their brain retransformed transformed into a success creating mechanism. When, it, when we talk about Six Sigma, and that's this new discovery is like the fourth generation of Six Sigma. Six Sigma was the thing that all the engineers and top level executives, they went through. Matter of fact, 1.4 million people have been through the course and uh, the Six Sigma course. And Sloan School of Business said this about it. It's the top 10 innovations in the last 150 years. That's like right up there with the internet and everything else. So that's what they said about this Six Sigma. And again, my friend, they now made it for the average everyday person. So they made it into a course. So they call it now the great discovery. They even have it for teens. They even have it for children. And so, but again, the add-on is any of us who are speakers, coaches, content providers, we can collaborate with them. I call this partnership marketing. So, so by the way, if a person, if they like network marketing or affiliate marketing, they're going to love this. But if you don't like network marketing and you don't like affiliate marketing, you're really going to love this new partnership marketing, my friend, where literally we collaborate and partner and we promote each other's materials. I mean, Red doesn't get any better than that. One of the things that I remember from way back when we used to go up to Harrisburg or wherever you all happen to be at and the question that was asked, you know, what does it take to to be a good fisherman, successful fisherman? And people would guess, you know, the bait and the rod and all the rest of the stuff. But the basic answer was you need hungry fish. 
So you can be fishing in that place all day long. If they're not hungry, they're not biting. But <laughs> as an MLM marketer, if I'm telling somebody something that can solve a problem, but they're not hungry, they're not going to buy it. But they're going to know where to go when they want to buy it. Mm. And that was part of the thing is that you can't be discouraged because if you're pitching to fish that aren't hungry, you can have 100 fish in that, that tank and they're not a single bite. But at some point in time, they're going to be hungry and they're going to know who you are and how to get in touch with you. And that was the part that stuck with me because so you, you pitch this thing over and over and over. And then all of a sudden you get this phone call. I got one, you know, about a year ago you were doing and OK, fine. You know, you, you plant the seeds, you let them grow. And it's, it's amazing. And right now we have this fertilizer for these seeds that almost grows these things overnight. And it's called AI. Uh, and what we're looking at right now is the front leading edge of what this thing can do. You're talking about cloning yourself on your, you could have literally two of you on different screens having a conversation with each other and nobody would be able to know the difference. And so there's just a lot of things out there that, that we're going to be seeing implemented in the next you know, three months, six months, nine months that right now they're talking about behind closed doors, but it's gonna become a, a fact. Uh, and it's just, it's just so many things that I had a military luncheon last uh, two weeks ago and the guy was talking about how he uses AI in his company and how, but just because it's AI doesn't mean it's a hundred percent accurate every single time. Right. Yes. He talked about some lawyers giving briefs and the references given weren't, they didn't do their due diligence and make sure that what was referenced was applicable. So just because it's on the internet doesn't mean, you know, uh, Abraham Lincoln really said that on the internet, right? <laughs> so you have to take what's there. But what we're talking about here is that ability to take that foreign language, match it to your to your mouth, the tonality, your your speaking. So in English, you know when to bob your head a little bit, and it looks so natural. It's just not a face sitting there that's that's, that's going like this. And so anyway, what are we looking well, at? Me, yeah. Well, let, let me say this. Yeah, let, let me say something real quick. So, so I was talking about the three different things. First of all, everybody will be a learner, continue learning. That's what, what I mean, that's one reason why I think, you know, you're always so excitable and exciting to talk to and to be with because, man, you're, it, it doesn't matter the age, it, you're, you're constantly learning and so forth. So number one, being a learner. But number two, again, if you're a speaker, a content provider, a coach, to get your message out, the world needs, listen, Instead of being the, ooh, get this, instead of being the best kept secret, it's time to come to become the best secret that people can't keep. <laughs> and, the, <laughs> and, and, the, and the saddest part about this is there are some people that are hungrier to learn in other countries than here, because we have so many options here already, right? So so think about that. So, so three different main hooks. One is whether you're a learner, two, content provider, and three, you just might be a person that wants to make some extra income. I mean, prices keep going up everywhere. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I stepped out to, for the, the wife the other day, grabbed some things at the grocery store. I'm thinking it's going to cost like 20 bucks. It was like $55. Like, what? <laughs> I'm like, what? And she's like, you haven't been in the store in a while, have you? But anyway, so I'm saying as inflation is going up higher and higher. So there's some things that people are looking for that they could add some extra income. So let me give you uh, this. And that is this supplemental income is the breakthrough that the majority of the world wants, needs, and seeks. You see, the whole world suffers from less than perfect finances. So they desire time, lifestyle, money, freedom, or all three. Fortunes will be made by providing these breakthroughs. And this company, this concept called The Great Discovery, has ingeniously put it together in such a way that whether you want to be a learner, whether you want to get your content out, whether you just want to make some extra money, and all, or all three, listen, it's all available. It's kind of like a smorgasbord. You put on your plate what you want, you leave your rest behind. Now, the CEO, Mr. Tim Taylor, he actually helped launch AOL back in the day. And here's what's so funny. One of the gentlemen that just got started the other day, uh, he has his own podcast, and he said, hey, Doc, can you connect me with the CEO? I want to see if I can interview him. And here's what the interview is going to be called from AOL to AI. <laughs> so
So I'm going to recommend we get him on your show as well. And you interview Mr. Tim Taylor, and maybe even his wife as well. They're co-CEOs. And his wife was the one that was married to Michael Harry, who was the co-founder of the whole Six Sigma movement. And she's still the chairman of the board. And, and so well, we'll make it happen. All righty. Man. But it's exciting days, though, uh, Red, because, again, you, you know, I, like some of my stuff is on a platform, my material. But guess what? I have to do all the marketing. And then I send them to that site. That site collects the money and it gives me some. This is different. This site says, oh, no, we're actively marketing. And then we've got affiliates who will let you act to speak to so they can buy and then they can market. And then we're doing major campaigns. So, again, it's truly a win, win, win. So, folks, if you've ever thought about getting your message out or if you ever thought about you're, you are a speaker, but you don't have a course. You want to create the course. They actually have a course that teaches you how to create courses, right? And uh, But primarily, my friend, it's all about you. Now, I, I want you to, I went, I'm, I'm going through the Great Discovery course now, and uh, it's changed my life. I've gotten several breakthroughs, but one of the things that helps you is to establish your core values and so that you make sure that everything you do in your life aligns with your core values. And so here's what my core values, I, I didn't know it. I mean, I kind of guessed, but I didn't know it like this. But my core values, number one, is spiritual. And, and to me, spiritual is putting my relationship with God above all else and living based on kingdom principles. But then the second one is my core value is freedom. And freedom is the ability to do what I would like to do for as long as I want to do it with whoever I want to do it. And so, so, so freedom is important to me. That's one of my core values. And then uh, number three, to minister. And minister is serving by empowering others uh, to experience breakthroughs. That's what a, a ministering to me is all about. And then the next one was integrity. That's another one of my core values. And that's being congruent and doing the right thing in spite of what others say or how they feel or how I feel or what the results may seem to be. No, no, you just do the right thing, integrity. And then another one of my core values is inspire, and that's igniting or reigniting a passion in others for life, for love, for the Lord, and for business. And then the last main um, core value was love, and that's doing what's best for, uh, uh, doing what's best, excuse me, from a heart that really cares. So doing what's best for others from a heart that really cares. And by the way, that the language of love is a language that everybody in the world understands. So, so I'm only 40% through the course and I'm Dr. Breakthrough and I already have three major breakthroughs. So I, I if it's doing this for me, it probably could help you as well. And uh, so let me give you this real quick, this summary, the, the great discovery, as far as what I call it, it's based on a system of leveraging sophisticated AI technology with simplicity and sincerity that eventually creates success at its very best. And so this whole concept, it allows us to create profits while fulfilling our purpose and solving others' problems. So I call it the best of e-learning connected with the best of e-earning <laughs> by leveraging the new generation of Six Sigma AI system and software that empowers the average person to create above average breakthroughs and income in below average time with below average effort. So it just, to me, doesn't get much better than that. I got to stop talking and let you talk. Yeah. I, I just wish you were more passionate about this. <laughs> okay, well, you see people's lives being transformed. You can't help. Uh, we're, we're running toward the end of the show here. So, oh, no. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. How can people get in touch with you? Who is a, a good person to, to, to reach you? And, and, and you've already shared the value, but somebody's interested. How do they get in touch with Dr. Breakthrough? Awesome. Um, well, they can just call me on my phone, which, by the way, I want everybody listening to me. You're, if you if you will accept my homework, I want you to call my number because it's going to go right to my voicemail. And again, but you can leave a message. And my wife's like, why do you give your number out like this? in public? Because I want people to call. I put I put together a very powerful voice message. Matter of fact, the other day, Red, I answered the phone and the lady said, no, no, I didn't want you to answer the phone. She said, please hang up. I got a friend on the line and she is so discouraged. I said, if you just hear this man's voicemail, it'll make the rest of your day. So hang up. We're going to call back. Do not answer. We just want to listen to your voicemail. So let me give you my number. 717 area code 
217-275-3508. Again, 717. So I'm originally from Pennsylvania. Now we live just north of Dallas. So 717 area code 275 three five zero eight and then you can email me at dr stan that's dr stan at drbreakthrough.com so dr stan at dr that's dr there's no period break b-r-e-a-k through t-h-r-o-u-g-h okay and then just one other thing if you go to i have a website called the internet mentor t-h-e the internet mentor.com now there's some paid trainings here but you, you, there's some free trainings. I want you to get some of my free things there. There's something called from a, a master. Every master was once a mess. Therefore, every mess or mediocre person can one day be a master. That's my life story. And I want to encourage everybody. So again, if you go to theinternetmentor.com and there's some free trainings there, my daily attitude adjuster. So you just got to open up a free account and it'll let you take a free lesson or two and, uh, and it'll bless your life. I think I've got also a webinar called The Art of Selling Without Selling and How to Sell Without Being a Sellout. And selling isn't just things. Selling is also concepts. And unfortunately, Red, most of my early life, I sold myself on what I couldn't do. And then once I got my breakthrough, I started selling myself on what I could do. <laughs> so well, here we go. I, I always feel so privileged to be around you especially when you're breaking boards and everything else it's just yeah you know, there's, there's so much excitement in, in the in the air and then when you just kind of dribble out these words about this being good and everything it just i mean the the excitement level is just all over the place so uh stan i really and truly really truly appreciate you taking some time out on thanksgiving day and spending it uh, here on the usa global tv and radio network uh, with our audience and i hope that they do call you at 717-275 3508 or reach you uh, at stan at drbreakthrough.com. Dr. Stan, at Dr. Dr. Stan at drbreakthrough.com. Yeah, but I got to tell you what I'm thankful for real quick. Okay, go for it. I just passed away with COVID. So real quick, I started counting my days and, you know, and I had, to, I was 11 days in ICU. So I had to start counting the average person has 20,000 breaths per day. So as of today, I had 459 million 800,000 approximate free breaths. <laughs> and as of today, it's my 23,000 and 11th day on God's wake up call. And my incredible, awesome mom only had 18,065 days. So when I wake up in the morning, first thing I do with all my calendar and my phone, I check off. I'm grateful for, you know, for the day and, and so forth. And today also is my birthday. I turned 63 years wise. It's not just Thanksgiving. It's also my birthday. So uh, thank you for my birthday gift. Allow me to share from my heart. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you, Red. Thank you for the everyone that's part of the show. Spread the good news, please. Well, let me be one of the first. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dr. Stan. <laughs> Happy birthday to you and many more. I'm trying to catch you, man, but you keep running. So I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so very much, Dr. Stan Harris, also known as Dr. Breakthrough. And I'm sure we'll see you again in the future, if not on the wise ones. Uh, there's certainly other options that are available on the USA Global TV and Radio Network. And yes, you and I will follow up and uh, and see who else is available that, that can really make a difference for, the, for our audience. Thank you. Thank you. And have a great Turkey Day. Red O'Loughlin here wrapping up uh, this week's uh, The Wise Ones on the USA Global TV and Radio Network. Very, very shortly, uh, just literally in a few minutes, I'll be doing the Talking Heads. Uh, I think today is number six, probably out of eight or nine. I'm not sure right this minute. But we're talking about wellness, hot tips and topics for 2023, 2024. And one of the ones that I'll be talking about today is EMDR. And it very, very, very effective for any kind of uh, PTSD, being able to desensitize the brain, be able to reprogram the brain from some emotional trauma. And all it takes is moving your eyes, eye movement. Uh, it's, there's a lot of things out there in the health trend, and we're, we've covered a bunch of them, but we're going down to that detail. And some of these things you can almost spend 30 minutes on just by themselves. But uh, please join me if you can. If not live, please join me on the archive version 
on YouTube. And here very shortly, we will have that. So Brett O'Loughlin, Chief Researcher, I'm hanging off and have a great uh, Thanksgiving today.